and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and licking his lips said, Maybe this once I'll have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky and feathered and furred. It had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew back and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat and phew! said the dog. And thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, find something everyone, throw something in. So the frog found a lily and the cat found a cone. The bird found a twig. And the dog found a bone. They threw them all in and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone.